Welcome back to Grill This, Smoke That. We just finished a delicious hibachi meal that I cooked completely on the Blackstone tonight. You can click this link up here in the top corner and it'll open that cook right up on your device. But now it's time to clean. I always enjoy my meal before coming back to clean. So I had the gas completely off. I've turned the gas on. I have my heat on high heat all the way across. And the things I'm gonna be using today are a full bottle of water and some vegetable oil. A scraper from the dollar store. A lot of people have recommended these for blocking the wind on your Blackstone. They work great for that, but I like these better than the Blackstone scrapers for cleaning because they have a little bit of flex to them. And then paper towels. So I'm gonna get you in a little bit closer so you can see how dirty it is and we'll get started cleaning it. All right, I have the gas on, like I said, and you can see it's starting to bubble. That lets me know that it is starting to get nice and hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a coat of water here. Notice it instantly turns brown. That's where it's making the stuff on the grill release. And I'm just gonna start taking my scraper and scraping the big stuff into the back center so we can get it down in the grease trap. I'll hold my scraper like this so I can get a nice grip on the metal. The reason why my griddle is so nasty is because I use a teriyaki glaze at the end is really thick and sweet, so it has that sugar in it that will burn on a hot surface, so it leaves a mess. So my griddle looks pretty good after just that quick douse with water and scrape, but there's still a few spots, mainly this area right here, that I need to, that I need to work on. If you do have any stubborn spots that won't come off with just water, I highly recommend you get one of these. It's a chainmail. This one is called the Ringer. It's available on Amazon. I'll make sure there's a link in the pin comment and the description. I actually started using this on cast iron pans originally, but it works really well on the Blackstone also for those stubborn spots that won't come off with just the water and heat. I have used the blue paper towels, but I found that these great value extra heavy duty paper towels work fine as well. So I just was cleaning off my scraper there. I'm gonna come back with another coat of water. And I am using hot water instead of cold water here, just to make sure we're not putting chilled cold water on our griddle. And you can see it's still bubbling up some brown here. So I'm going to do the same process again. I'm actually gonna scrape this area here that I could tell needed some work. I take the scraper here and I push it against the side and then go down onto the griddle to get all that water out of the edges. You don't want any standing water on your blackstone when you're done. And I'll show you another way to take care of that as well. So my gas can be turned off now because I'm doing my last straight down here. Go ahead and let it start cooling down so I don't have to wait as long to put the cover back on it. Did you guys hear about the new restaurant on the moon? The food is out of this world, but it's got no atmosphere. So if you're like me, when you first got your Blackstone, you bought a lot of different materials. I have a whole pack of these scouring pads. I have the cleaning brick with the handle. I have backups of all of that. And I haven't had to use that. Just plain old water and a scraper takes everything off that needs to come off. The next step in the process is to coat it with oil because if you look, it looks dry in some areas. So I'm just going to hose this down with some oil here. I don't spread it on here, I put it on the paper towel itself. Then I go around the edges first, making sure that not only is it dry, but it has a nice coat of oil on the edges. And then I just go back and forth all the way across. It will get hot. Uh, if you don't have enough paper towels. So I use two of those little half sheets on here. You can see it's nice and black. So I'm going to flip it and I'm going to continue wiping. And now the last thing I do is wipe the grease trap entrance here. I got my finger burned there a little bit. And we're done. So now it can cool down. I can put the top back on and I can cover it up. It's just that easy. Don't overthink the process of cleaning your griddle. Once it's got a nice season coating on it, it's super easy. It takes me about two minutes whenever I'm not filming. 
I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, it would help me out if you would hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooking videos related to the Blackstone. And you see I have a big green egg smoker back here. So that's where the grill this and smoke that comes from. I do have another YouTube channel called Tightwide DIY. It's do-it-yourself style projects you can do around your home. I did have some cooking videos on there. I'll slowly be migrating onto this channel, but check that channel out as well. I think you'll find it helpful. I'll soon have some t-shirt designs available for purchase down below. And I love to correspond back and forth with people who subscribe to my channel. So you can leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond. Or you can look me up on Instagram at grill this, smoke that all one word on Instagram. And I'd love to message back and forth with you on there. As always, I hope you guys have a great day.